This um, old axle in here is a real workhorse. It's a wood lathe. <laughs> it's really nice to have a workhorse like this just to do a little bit of everything. And this is going to get a real thorough cleanup right away. Get that all cleaned up here right away. But I finished my file handle project and managed to add another little storage cabinet down here and uh, got a wood top on it there with the grooves so stuff doesn't roll off. Those grooves are important. Okay, now, <laughs> you know, actually, the, this file collection here, there's just about 40 of them there. And I made 22 new handles. And every file up there has a handle. There's some scrapers, a couple other things there too. And it's like a machine in itself. And uh, making that efficient makes me efficient. Okay, well, I'm gonna go out and have a look at that drill press. So we'll head out there and do that. But I gotta clean this stuff up here pretty quick. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a mess. You know what? This is coming in real handy. This uh, little block thing. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the Morris Moore Speed. Now, this is a three horse motor here. This is uh, their light duty model. And so. The motor runs into here into a reduction gear shaft that rotates that shaft that turns the uh, horizontal mechanical motion into vertical motion here. So this whole head slides along the spline. See that? I got lithium white grease sprayed on the gears here to keep them from rusting, and it's working fine. So we go from uh, the electric motor to a reduction box to this shaft, these bevel gears to these vertical gears. Okay, let's swing this thing around. And it swings pretty easy, too. <laughs> okay, this thing's out of gear. So I can turn this shaft here. See, it's not turning anything here. But I can turn the spindle down here. Let me see if you can get back. So it's out of gear here, so this will uh, contact up here when you pull it in the gear, up here, and uh, drive this uh, shaft that's moving. Now here's the spindle here. There's a slight amount of play in that spindle, I'm going to take it off, and I have to remove this cap. And let's see if I've got, yeah, hold on. Now this right here is a counterweight. See that? Now this spindle assembly is uh, heavy enough that if it uh, something were to fail that supports this, it would smash your hands underneath the table. So they have this ratcheting thing here and this chain to the counterweight. So if the counterweight fails, it'll cause this to engage uh, these teeth here and keep it from uh, dropping down on you. Okay, so this thing's got 10 inches of uh, quill feet. Uh, move this thing. So 
So I'm going to bring it right about to here and uh, support this. And it looks like I have to take this loose. I might have to bring this right about there and support this here. Then I can take the safety mechanism loose and uh, remove that spindle cap here and adjust that spindle bearing. Now this spindle has a Timken bearing here, a single. Then it's got two um, spherical bearings and then a heavy uh, thrust bearing. I'm not even seeing the uh, spindle itself yet. Which way does this go? There we go. Right, move it down. This uh, spindle is still very tight. This kind of a, a unique opportunity to uh, find a machine like this in this condition, except for it was uh, left in a scrapyard and rusted up. You can see in the photos I'll, I'll include in this video. So here's the spindle here. And the bearings are... Uh, up in here. Yeah, there's three uh, rows of bearings there. Now, I got a problem here. Um, there's a double bearing here, double row bearing here, and then uh, another two spherical bearings for this and this is rough it's like got you can tell it's got a bad bearing so I gotta get that off okay now <laughs> the main problem with this why it ended up at the scrap yard is there's bearings that the head glide on here right now it's running on the brake on its lock and uh, those uh, got debris behind them and jammed. And if they jam when they jam, they lift the head up and the head locks on this uh, tapered lip here. So that was very hard to... Uh, uh, I had to burn those bearings out. And then the head was frozen all the way over here. So I had to put jacks in here and shove the head over and jiggle it and stuff to get it to move just a little bit. And it took a long time. You can see where the head was right there. And the column is in excellent shape. I haven't used any power tools on this. I've just skimmed the rust off of it and then just keep... Uh, wiping it down but this will uh this will end up looking uh, nice like the axles in there yeah now this machine here <laughs> yeah there we go that paint needs a little bit of uh, um, kerosene on it yeah this machine here i'm selling and you can see I pretty much need to get it out of the way to get this back there. So that's my project here. I've got some tooling for it I'm looking for. <laughs> Poor old thing. That's a good machine. No, I think somebody will find some use for it. Yeah, it's looking good. Not a 1970 machine. You notice how long the carriage is on this? They're real short on the HLVH. And these things hold up pretty good because of that long carriage. And a real solid machine. One of the things I found about these uh, hard inches using these chokers 
is that uh, it's best to use coolant with them because uh, they're actually made to uh, work with coolant but they don't have a lot of horsepower so uh, using coolant and like positive rake inserts the things will move metal pretty darn good but uh, not near the capacity of the Monarch 10 E. That's got five horsepower. This thing, uh, this kind of stick, uh, has one horsepower and half horsepower at uh, uh, low speed. Get that back here. I'll work this a little bit. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little sticky. Get some oil down there. It's like a little ratchet, Paul. This thing hasn't been used for years. But the spindle's good. It's got the rare spindle protector cap, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to poke around. I'm going to have to put the covers back on on this uh, drill because uh, the weather looks threatening. Watch out, boy! Okay, I'll be back. Hey, Chloe! What's up? You want, you're trying to lure me out of here, huh? <laughs> Hey, I got this oxen all cleaned up from that woodworking. Looking good. I put the uh, Cushman 8-inch 3-draw chuck back on it for general kicking around stuff here. So I've got this thing humming pretty good here, and I'm ready to tackle more projects than what's inside here. So <laughs> I've got it so it's working. Well, you guys uh, have a good day, and uh, I will be back with some uh, more action, I guess.